Hello, my friends, hello. Hello, my friends, hello. Hello, my friends, hello, my friends, hello, my friends, hello. Hello, my friends. Ah, back by popular demand. The ukulele. Finally, I brought it back. Um, hello, I'm Kaylee, and this is Kaylee Crostitch. And I'm back. I know I keep saying that, but, you know, I just went to Stitch North, so the stitchy juices are flowing. <laughs> it's uh, May 1st, my birthday month, and I am going to show you a few things like project related, but I want to show you my haul from Stitch North. And the reason why I'm like, huh, got to record now is I got a shout out from Elizabeth Ann can stitch. Okay. Hello. Uh, I saw her at Stitch North and I appeared in her vlog because I give away tiny stitching kits because tiny stitching is my thing. So if you're new here, that's what I'm all about and welcome. If you're not new here, hi. Missed ya. Okay? <laughs> so let's get into it. Um, I'm, I'm like a little bit uh, uh, frazzled because I have somewhere to be in, in a few hours. And I usually don't do this to myself. I usually don't record when I have somewhere to be on that day. But I'm just so excited to show you some stuff. So I'm going to show you my projects first and then the Stitch North stuff a little later. And by knowing me, it'll be just a little later, not too much later, because I go, I like to go fast. So somebody told me they were like, oh, I'll have to watch from the beginning. I'm like, that won't be too difficult because my floss tubes are usually pretty short. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> okay, first thing I want to show you is a little finish that I don't think I showed you last time. I don't remember, but it is Hazy Hen by Marumi Designs. And who's who's in for Miriam uh, for Marumi May? Me. So there's my little finish of Hazy Hen. This is on a quilting square with sewing floss. It's a kimono silk. I don't remember the number, <clears throat> but I'm use I'm doing one over one full cross on these, and it's very tiny as you can see. I got so excited because somebody at Stitch North took. A quilting square and they started stitching on it and it's becoming a revolution y'all not that cute okay that was my finish and then a few whips well I guess I'll show you the new starts since I finished that one I started camel lanky camel and I have not even updated Instagram on this so Unless you saw my Instagram story, you haven't seen this. Nobody on the internet has seen it. That's Lanky Camel by the same designer, Marumi Designs. This one I noticed that I have to kind of catch the light a certain way to see it clearly, but it, all the stitches are there. And I was getting, I was thinking about finishing this at Stitch North and having like the tiniest finish ever, but. I didn't because there's like 1600 stitches left on it still. Isn't it cute? That's it. <laughs> I've noticed people like talk a lot about their projects and I don't talk a lot about them as much. Maybe it's because I like, I'm not in practice, whatever. Uh, this I brought to Stitch North and worked on a little bit. This is the 2023 Modern Folk Embroidery Stitch Along, Reaching Skyward. And I had a lot of people, that'd be a good thumbnail. I had a lot of people comment on this one. And that's what I love about Stitching Tiny is that if I stitch something that a lot of people know of and have seen at a normal size, then they see it tiny and they're like, whoa. Because I, that's how I react still. I mean, I know I see it every day, but I'm still like, it's beautiful. So this is on a 46 count um, XG design, old blue. And I'm using 
two different colors of Overasois Surfine. Overasois Surfine. And there's Jacob. Also, anybody down to stitch the, the Queen of May with me? I'm going to start that pattern, the one that was just released. Because it's May, and it's... Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm usually don't, I don't, I usually don't like to be like, oh, it's my birthday month, but it's my golden birthday this year. I'm turning 31 this year on the 31st. It's my golden birthday. Is that a big deal anymore? Maybe I'll have to do like an actual sal or something like that. Okay, and then, believe it or not, there's another modern folk embroidery whip in here. Any guesses? Any guesses? It's out of the it's out of the hoop, so I don't know if that's helpful or not. <laughs> it's so stupid. Look at how tiny it is. Here's my progress on AKGIT eight eighteen fifty. I should know this. I'm sorry. Eighteen something by Modern Folk Embroidery. And this is stitched one over one full cross on 56 count even weave. Now I'm, I'm planning on doing a, um, a tiny stitching update because since my last tiny stitching video that's exclusively tiny stitching, I've changed my fabric and threads a lot. But you can sign up to get this, a small piece of it. <clears throat> and this is no longer manufactured, it's by Gart made 56 count even weave there's a hashtag we want 56 count even weave and they stopped manufacturing it and I got mine from Karen the needle bug she sent me all her 56 because she can't see it anymore sad day uh, and so if you want to if you want to try this I'll send you a little piece of fabric a little bit of floss and a needle so you can try it link in the description Is that all I was supposed to say? You know what it is. I used to give like percentages and stuff, but I'm too lazy to bring up or to pull out my my pattern keeper right now, or I just feel a little bit rushed. So that that could also be a thing. Okay, and then this is one of my acquisitions from Sheba Designs. They came with it, y'all. They they were at Stitch North last year, and I remember the cat fabric went like that on their bags. And this year, they did not run out. She was like, oh, everybody likes cats, so I'm going to come prepared. So I got that, uh, this bag, and then the matching. I know it's not purchases yet, but I, I'll just show you because it's out. I got the matching um, floss bed. Floss bed. It's got a little pocket maybe for your scissors right scissors a little I'm not even showing it to you pocket then a little felt spot the side is felt and there's a magnet in here so your needle can stay but I actually saw these and I was like oh that's the perfect size to fit a three inch hoop and that could be my my tiny travel stitching in this little thing <laughs> I mean I got other bags too but why am I putting that back in there? Let me put that over here. Anyway, this is amongst the tulips. I worked a little bit on this at Stitch North. And that was also really fun because, you know, I have my modern folk embroidery, but then full coverage. This is on 46 count, a fox and rabbit fabric. And let me see. I'm sure I have this. Do I? Tulips. Tulips. There it is. This is the image. And it was really fun to uh, have people see this because this is what's possible with tent stitch and tiny fabric. The image is just really clear. See, it looks very similar to the, to the image. So if you're wondering what my opinion of the best count for full coverage is, it's, 40, it's 46. And it does get a little bulky on the back, but if you can if you can tolerate it you save floss and it is just dainty and cute if you if you're used to 46 count but that's my 
Mini amongst the tulips. Hade. Heaven and Earth Designs. Oh, I still have one on the on the needle. And I don't think I worked on this one since I saw you last, but this is a 56 count. Uh, love, no, um, to friendship, friendship, Qu Quaker friendship from Jacob Palooza. I don't know. I don't remember it. But that's just available. I think that's all I'm going to show you for projects. I think that's all. Can you hear the cat? Did I tell you that I got that we got another cat? I think I did. I think I did. It's been too long. Okay. Now, if you don't care about about stitching retreats, then I'll see you next time. But I'm going to show you all the things that I got from Stitch North, including uh, swag bag purchases and and uh, kindness, stitchy kindness from people. And the Smalls Exchange. I finally participated in the Smalls Exchange. Okay, first in the swag bag. So if you have never been to a retreat, um, I highly recommend. Toronto is a good airport to go into, so Stitch North is a great retreat to go to for your first one, because um, Toronto is an international airport. Um, and Caroline and the Evertote team, Hannah and and uh, Daniel and everybody else, Carrie, uh, Roxy Flosco, they they do an amazing job. What I really like about Stitch North is that they they schedule time for stitching and not much else. They have a pizza party, they have door prizes, and that's about it. Like they don't schedule anything extra, which is which is really nice. You get to sit and chat, or you can run around and talk to people. Not run around, but you can go around and talk to people. Um, this time my social battery was like low from the beginning. So I kind of stitched a lot. So Michelle was like, oh, I stitched a lot. And I was like, oh yeah, I did too. Cause I, I wasn't, I wasn't walking around. Um, but long story short, no long story long, uh, Caroline does a really wonderful job of, of getting us a really hefty swag bag together. So this was what was in, on the table when we when we came in um name tag i didn't stitch it and then a needle minder ex uh, stitch north needle minder i guess i'll just set all this right here um this is a exclusive i think celtic b by karen Dujinski. celtic b I'm just gonna go through it quick. Oh, uh, included with the name tag is a piece of fabric and a Roxy Flask Co. I got pink, pink. This is really pretty. My lighting, I might need to turn on a light. And this is in no particular order. Um, a floss bed from Gamma's Treasures. Also has a magnet sewn into this. I don't use floss beds, but I should because they're very handy. Oh, uh, name tag holder, finger, Ro hand dyed by Rolanda. I've never tried that before. Ruby Whisper is what I got. Shiba Designs uh, pen and coupon. Oh, and a little charm. Twenty twenty-four. My friend Ashley of Monkey and Mouse. I think this is a code, actually. I survived Stitch North. Floss drops. I didn't open that up yet. Oh, I guess I started with the pattern and then skipped everything else. Um, I already took it out, but from my also my friend Kaylee at the sewing shop, she provided us with these little zipper pulls. Everybody had a different one. I got little underpants. Um, Rocky Mount Mountain Needle Minder's tiny, tiny needle minder. My fa like, I was really happy to get this because I, on the tiny project, I need a tiny needle minder, right? Because you need it. Um, from cute little envelope from Keymat Designs, file and tweezer. File and tweezer. Tweezer. Uh, and then here's some patterns that we got. Anne's Crafts, the flower. 
Tiny Modernist. Always time for tea. A from Canadian Stitchery Ugly Sweater Ornament. And I think I, it's a design your own. There's fun. And then my favorite, Cats from Shakespeare's Peddler. And it is, uh, it must have been destined because there are a few different options and I got cats, but there were scissors, teacups, birds, baskets, keys, and I got cats. I love cats. I have two, if you don't know. I'm sure you know though, but now you know, because it's my super short show. Okay. Um, acquisitions, purchases, purchases from Kaylee at the sewing shop dot ca more zipper pulls these are so cute so cute and i got these two little project bags <laughs> look at how cute they are so kaylee does this square bag that no q snaps can fit in here but they the bigger ones fit a q snap and they're really nice. They have a vinyl front and she always adds a zipper pull on them. This is one of my favorite ones. <laughs> Little balloon animal. And then this one was just destined to be mine, right? Music with a little choke clef. I cherish these. These are wonderful. And then from uh, Evertote, I actually did not shop that much, which is Okay, from Evertote, Roxy, Carrie is dying 56 count. Watch out, world. Speculus, is that what that's called? A quarter of that. Y'all, tiny stitching is in fashion. In fashion. And then I bought this set, of course. And I already added, oh, I already showed you that one, the underpants, but then also I got a gold one of these. So cute. Um, so Evertote usually sells these Notion pouches with a bigger bag. And I saw this tucked in with this and I was like, does this go together? And Carrie, no, not Carrie. Um, I don't remember her name. She started working with them this stitch north, but they were like, yeah, this goes together. And I was like, yes, because last year I bought, I bought this, this with a bigger bag and I have not used the bigger bag. Maybe that's a me problem, but I love this size because I do tiny stitching and everything fits in here, but I don't need the big bag. So I was really happy to see a smaller size with the, with the notion pouch. Isn't that cute? Okay, what else did I buy? I, sh I already showed you this project bag. So that's what else I bought. And oh, I got this needle minder. Where did I put it now? Is it going to be really that bad if I don't show you another needle minder? It's probably stuck to that stuff. Okay, and then stitchy kindness. So I want to show you these I maybe usually wouldn't show you like everything that everybody gave me, but if you're wanting to attend a retreat and wondering what you should give people, here are some ideas. I wanted to show you ideas. So um, quite a few people give needle minders. What is this from? Oh, this is from Helen. Uh, people give floss, floss straps. Kitties. Needle minder. This is a like a, I think, fabric over a button, I would guess. Another, look at this, little Nina Binder from Anna. Um, this was a great idea, a little matchbook type needle holder, needle book. Very simple to make, useful. <clears throat> Excuse me, more floss drops. 
Somebody asked me how I made my floss drops. I just went on Vistaprint and made business cards. Um, Nuri, Shaded Stitchery, Lovely Human. I'm so glad I met her. And let's see, who else? Luna, is this is um, Rachel Ray. Lots of stickers going on. Little Pride Flag sticker. Oh, this, somebody gave me a little thermos um, thing to go with your thermos. This is Deanna, Darling and Whimsy. Little quirky Quaker Squirrel sticker. Somebody dropped this off, I don't remember who. But, uh, Stitch Counter, I think. There was my door prize ticket, which I never win door prizes. It'll be... Oh, this is cute. Somebody gave me this little kit. I think it's an embroidery kit because it doesn't look like it's meant to be cross-stitched. And then it comes with a little hoop. Oh, that was Helen. This was also Helen. Cat. I'm a kitty cat. And then a few zipper poles. Some people gave stuff to everybody. Some people gave stuff to just their table. Oh, um, I was sitting by uh, Jacqueline Cohen. Uh, uh, what's that called? A gift for you. It's like a friendship Quaker. And then it has sulky spool in it and fabric. Very sweet. Um, oh, here, my friend Val, who's going to finish a tiny quilt for me, gave me a thread bed needle holder. With little macarons on it. I have too much stuff, y'all. Another few stickers. Here's Elizabeth Ann can stitch. It's a mess here. And then I, um, Michelle Bendy has a really great idea to have a retreat project where she takes a, uh, chart that she doesn't really feel like stitching the whole thing herself and she passes it around and you stitch a little bit on the project and then since Michelle has lots of extra floss she just threw a bunch of floss in there and says that the only rule is you take the floss with you so I stitched on the one that was finished and the new one so I got some purples this is like a lavender and then a purple I have no idea what these are. This is a Belle Soie. I've never used Belle Soie before, so here we go. And a mystery. We love mystery floss, right? And then possibly the sweetest, sweetest stitchy kindness I got was this little, this little, <laughs> this little pussy, which is what I call my cats. This little kitty. Look at how sweet. This is from somebody who has viewed my channel for a long time and that's sweet I, I they tried to be sneaky about it but I figured out who it was isn't this community great y'all it's so sweet where's my time counter OBS is like updated oh there it is <laughs> OBS is updated so much um, okay, that's all my acquisitions from Stitch North. It was so wonderful to see everybody. I think that's everything. I hope so. And I know I always say this, but I want to get back into regular uploading. I think my life has calmed down enough and I have enough of a schedule to like finally build going live in and finally build in recording videos. Um, it is just my life has changed so much since I stopped teaching. So I'm more busy in the evenings now than I was when I was teaching. So I just have to organize a little bit better. Um, oh, here's that needle minder stuck to a bag. This was from Rocky Mountain needle minders. Very pretty, huh? Uh, so yeah, I just need to get my life together a little bit better. Um, and I had to go back to my old videos from like 
three years ago to remember this song. You say my floss tube is over, I have nothing more today. Why so sad? Remember we made an arrangement. I upload whenever the hell I want to. You'll be back soon, you see. You remember how to get to me. Floss tube and the gram. Subscribe. Subscribe and follow to see my progress in the stitchy land. Da 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 is that what the hymn is? All right, see you next time. What do I do next? This one. <laughs> okay, bye.